Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, Galvin, Wolves? Hopefully you guys are doing well. We hear sound, but never mind. What, uh, what sound did you guys hear? <clears throat> How are you guys doing tonight? It's going. I guess things could be better. I was going to say... Oh, okay, I gotcha. I was pulling out some of, my, some of my equipment. I didn't know that you guys could hear that. You're on Minecraft? Oh my, I'm looking... I'm terrible at driving. Holy cow. First I hit the 44.50. Now I'm going through the green bins. What do you got going on in Minecraft right now? If we can't get this topped off, I don't know. We're probably not going to have enough seed. I don't think it's full. No. Well, that'll get us started. So I think we'll um, do a little bit of planning. And then we'll jump over and do some haying while we let a worker go on planning. Collecting ores. Uh, wood for a house. Oh, nice. I haven't played Minecraft in probably like two years. I played it there for a little while, but I haven't played it in some time now. I'm trying to think of what fields I want to plant what into. Oh, we're about to get a red light, so we're going to swerve over here and go this way. I think we're going to, um, let's take a look at the map. <clears throat> I think 96, 101, and 102, that's going to go beans. Um, I think 26 in this field will go beans as well. That's all I know right now. We might put that. No, that's going to go into corn for silage. I'll last up for a few weeks and get back on today. Yeah, that's how I am sometimes. I'll play a game and then I'll stop playing it for a couple weeks and then play it again and then stop for a couple weeks. I kind of want to buy this land right here and plow this into a field. That would make a nice little field for maybe some hay or something like that we'll see if we ever get low on hay we might go ahead and do that so we are going to get this turned in here I think we're just going to let a worker start here so I can run up and get the truck and then we need to get it filled up with seed so that we have enough for planning. I don't know if I want to make a course play course or just let a in-game worker go. I don't want to be full inside a new one. I like to keep my inventory in here. Oh shoot, we're in March. We can't even plant corn yet. Hold up. Well then, yeah, since we're still in March, let's just shut that down. We'll jump over here and grab our truck. Forgot that we were still in March. Let's get that closed, and we'll kind of speed up time a little bit to get us into the next month. I think the animals, they're all fed. We did that last time, so they should be good. We shouldn't have to worry about them. For the time being, we can run down here, grab some seed, and then we'll be good to go. And I think we'll do like one or two fields, probably do one field ourselves, and then let course play do the rest of the fields while we uh, cut some hay. I think that will be our plan. Want 
notes. Um, oh, well, it would help if we actually went to the right place. I keep forgetting that that is not the seed shed. The seed shed's over here. That's like the third time I did it on this map. Went to the wrong place. Are, are these like pot? No, we can't get these. Yeah, just decoration. Your pin cord bot is a bit behind. What do you mean by that? Ooh, okay, it's dark. Let's uh, turn this up. Oh, are you talking about on Discord? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, it's a little bit slow sometimes. I've realized that. 17,000 for some seed. Holy cow. Oh, well, we need it. Okay, now we can jump time back up. We have a great demand. I think we do have some grain as well that we could sell. I wonder what the demand is for. If it's corn or soybeans looks to be for wheat and we don't have any wheat uh, but we do have I think I might take the rest of this we'll take the beans probably to the feed mill and then we'll put in the right amount of corn to make that amount of feed and then we'll sell the corn I think that's what we'll do best prices about next month or no not next month June, so about two months from now. I don't know, we might get to that this stream, I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and jump into April. Alright. So before we uh, get planning, let's just go ahead and Fill this guy up the rest of the way. Might have to get over a little bit farther. It says gamble time. Put in the uh, Discord link as well. Get the bot to do that. If you don't mind. set that there let me go ahead real quick and that stupid like thing I don't know what that does you forgot you had a million oh my I forgot to change that I wanted to change that to uh, sweet corn not bacon oh well I gotta let myself a note Thank goodness for sticky notes. Um, where's the pen at? I need a pen. Here's a pen. So I need to change bot. There we go. I mean, all it does is say people like the video. Oh, that heart thing. Probably help if we uh, turned the planner on. I think. Let's get some GPS going here. Whoa, we are way off our track. We're missing a whole row over there on the right side. So let's uh, back up here and get straightened out. I 
There we go, now we can do that and get our width and get our A direction. Now we're good to go. This planter only plants at six miles per hour. We need to get something that's a little bit quicker. What's on sale? Quad track. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that. We might need to upgrade a, the planter next year because we're going a bit slow. Six miles per hour ain't fast enough to be planting that. We need to plant closer to nine, maybe even 11 miles per hour. I guess I could modify this planter, but I think we will uh, upgrade to like a 24 row for next season. Cause hopefully we can pick up some more ground as well. I'd like to get some more acres. Do you guys have the heart thing in the bottom right corner of the chat? Well, now you're losing. Yeah, that must be new because I never noticed that before. in the hair yeah I can't see the chat like I can't see part of the chat whenever that heart's there because it's at the it's even on like mine as well so I gotta wait for another chat to come in so I can actually see like the chat because it covers up part of it which is annoying and sometimes I'll start reading it and then I'll get to like the end there where the heart is and the heart covers up the chat I don't know if I have a way to remove it from my screen or not I don't know Almost two million, yeah. You're gonna have all my sweet corn. I think you already have all of it, like a couple years worth of my sweet corn. <laughs> You're gonna have to give some of that back to me. You're going all, well, no, not really all in, but you're going big. Three hundred thousand. Hopefully you lose. Yeah, you lost. I, I got some of my sweet corn back now. I wish you could grow sweet corn in Farming Simulator. I wonder if there's a mod for that. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> he says no mine. Anybody know if there's a uh, mod for sweet corn in Farm Sim? Something I'll have to look into. That'd be cool to do a sweet corn series. You think certain maps have it? I'll have to check that. Go big or go home. Unfortunately, it didn't let you do it. Okay, let's get a new... Yeah, our line's off just a touch. Let's, uh... Oh my, you won. I was hoping you'd lose. I think whenever I went in all in, I lost. And you won, that's not fair. I think if I can find a map with uh, sweet corn on it, we'd do a little bit of a 
sweet corn series. Try and grow a pretty big operation. See, like I said, go big or go home. Yep, you went big and you didn't have to go home. And you'll have to go home to eat all that sweet corn, but yeah. Let's see. Get around this corner here. A part of me kind of likes this little curve. I like curves in the field, but part of me wants to just take these trees out and level off that ground. But I think we'll keep it. I kind of like it. Not too much of a pain. go again I think you're gonna lose this time oh my gosh you won again wow you got some good luck you ought to play the lottery you haven't lost too much I feel like every time I look it's always a win yeah holy crap is right you're gonna have enough sweet corn for the whole neighborhood and then some you're almost at a billion where are you at what do you got, you got you're only at 7.5 million wolves I mean, if you keep going the way that you're going, you'll be at a billion by the end of the stream, I bet, but... You said you can never do that in the casino in real life. Yeah, I don't have the best luck whenever it comes to gambling. You got a lot of luck on here, though. Mm, your luck ran out. I mean, you still got like 6.5 million though, so. You spoke too soon, I know. I'm hoping that your luck runs out. I'm not going to have any sweet corn left. Hey, there we go. I like to see that. Your luck is running out. You were like one away from hitting the jackpot. I think 99 is like a big multiplier. I hope that tractor breaks down. <laughs> well, luckily for me, farm sim don't have breakdowns. Now that you say that, my luck at the tractor probably would break down. <laughs> it's not even possible. It would probably still happen to me. Hey, you're on a losing streak now. That's three in a row. I think the next time you're going to win. Just the way it goes. kind of tired it's only 7 30 not a long day today any of you guys uh watch the eclipse today 
Oh, there you go. I knew that was coming. He says, give me that back. There should be a limit. You shouldn't be allowed to have that much. Yeah, I watched it. It was pretty cool to see it. I got some nice pictures of it as well. Anybody else watch it today? I think we were like where I'm at. It was like 98%. So... I thought it was going to get darker than what it did. It didn't actually get that dark. I thought it was going to be a lot darker than what it actually was. Hmm, you're going big. And you lost. Well, this line doesn't look very straight. It looks like we're creeping over to the left. I don't know. It might. I guess it's going straight. It just don't look like it's going straight. No, I know I don't. <laughs> now I know why I'm not doing casinos IRL. Well, I mean, technically, you're still up though. Because what did you? I think you started with like a million, and now you're up. Still up to 5.7 million, so you're still doing good. Your losing streak is continuing. You keep jinxing me. Well, that's a good thing. I don't want you to take all my sweet corn. I'd like some for myself as well. plane yep, there goes a plane how to drop some herbicide on this field for me it's getting weedy I guess after we plant all this we'll have to come back and get it all sprayed I wonder what our um, <clears throat> nitrogen values are looking like on this field. pH. Did we spread lime? I can't remember if we put lime on these or not. I think I did. Pretty sure they all have the lime on them. Thinking. Yeah, that's going to need a boost there for sure. I don't know, wolves. You lost again. I think this might go into corn. That's going to be corn and that's going to be corn. I know that for a fact. I think that will go corn. I think this will go beans. Um, I think, yeah, that'll be beans. That'll be beans. These two will be beans. And then we'll have corn, 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 corn. Even though the third cross from us was corn last year, we'll do corn on corn. 
Yeah, I don't even think you la lost six times the whole last stream. It seemed like last stream you were winning every single time. Hey, Keith, how's it going, buddy? There you go, Wolves. Now you're back in the winning column. I want to see that, say, less than a million, though, so you, you ought to lose a couple more times. Someone lose, 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 yay, finally, keep on losing, yeah, I think if we uh, time this right, if we knock out like one field and then jump over and cut hay, I think by the time we get done cutting hay, we should be getting closer, if not already done planting beans, and then... We probably, I don't know, what's the um, growth cycle looking like here? Oh, actually, soybeans can be planted all the way into June. So we probably should plant corn first, but we're already planting beans now. But we'll probably plant our corn in May then. Maybe. Depends. Wow, you're not having good luck tonight, Wolves. You're not having good luck tonight. Once we uh, knock out this, we'll, you know what, I'm going to just watch this machine go around the field. <laughs> yeah, if not, you're going to lose all your points. You're not going to have nothing left if you keep going at this rate. Hmm. Probably should take another headland pass up here, but we'll be alright. Put over into the road if we have to. Oh, that sounds good. Making me hungry now. I think on a Wednesday night we're gonna have some barbecue chicken and some cheeseburgers for dinner, so that's gonna be pretty good. Had to go on mute there for a second so I could cough. Ooh, pulled pork. Ooh, some fish and hush puppies, fries. That sounds good too. But pulled pork is really good. I like me some pulled pork. We had that a couple weeks ago. We had some pulled pork. You gotta stop talking about food now. It makes me hungry.
You've been hungry ever since you got off work. And I had a rough day at work today. So my grandfather, he has a 425 with a loader on it. And we just put new head gaskets on it a couple days ago. I think it was, we started it Saturday, finished it on Monday. I think I mentioned that last stream. So, you know, what's today? Today's Monday. No, we started it Friday, finished it Saturday. That's right, yeah. Because today's Monday. I'm all out of whack. But anyway, I drove it Saturday. It was fine. I started it up yesterday to get out the other tractor, the 2040. Because I had to go down to the neighbor's house and push up their chicken manure. Because it's in a big pile. They just have like 30, 40 chickens. So I went down and pushed that up for them. Because it was kind of not where they wanted it at. So I did that. Put the 425 away. It was fine. And then today I had a little project I wanted to get done around the house here. So I went to start it up. And it turned over for like two seconds, and then it was like, it was, um, it seemed like it was locked up. I almost thought the motor was locked up, but I could still like turn the fan backwards, but then whenever I went to start it, it would turn over until it got to the one part, and then it would just, it was just like clicking. So my grandfather, he said to take out the spark plugs and then try and turn it over. So I took out both the, both the spark plugs, went, turned it over, and... All this coolant came up, splashed everywhere, got in my face, got in my mouth, in my eyes. It was literally disgusting. I thought I was going to go blind. I couldn't see out of my eyes for like 10 seconds till I got it all wiped out of there. So turns out, apparently, whenever we did the head gasket, something happened. And I don't know what's going on because there is uh, coolant in the pistons. So... Either the head gaskets weren't on right or the heads cracked or something. I don't know. You're going to have to give it a uh, deeper dive tomorrow to see what's actually going on with it. I tore it back apart today, but then it was getting late, so I didn't really get time to check out everything. I had a bad experience fishing. What happened whenever you were fishing? I don't understand why it was running fine Saturday, ran fine Sunday, and then today it just wanted to have water in it. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't really know too much about those engines motors so yeah I have to do some research and see what I can find out see if there's something obvious that's wrong or I don't know I lost like two hours well that's not good but they say a bad day fishing is better than a good day at work If you guys are just joining the stream, make sure you guys smash that like button as well. Helps out the channel tremendously, and it doesn't cost you guys a thing. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 2K. Thankfully, it didn't rain today. I actually got to get outside and get some stuff done. Got the yard mowed today. And then, like I said, I was going to try and work on a little project around the house here. But that didn't seem to work out. I didn't feel like getting the big tractor out. Because it's kind of a little overkill for what I wanted to do. 
Just wanted to push up a little pile of dirt there, but yeah. Now I was gonna use the little tractor to pick up some rocks. So again, the big tractor out. Oh, uh, you got rain down there. Luckily, we didn't have any rain. I'm getting tired of rain. It was raining for the past, like, the whole last week, it pretty much rained every day. Well, we've had enough rain for a while, but it's supposed to rain again now on, um, I think it's Thursday and Friday, I think it's supposed to rain, or Wednesday and Thursday, I forget when it was. I think it's Thursday, Friday, we're supposed to have some rain. So hopefully I can get some rocks picked out of the field and do a little bit of stuff up there before it rains again and gets all muddy because still was a little muddy today I was going to do that today but it's still a little muddy up there I rained for a minute well, that's not bad I think I don't know I think we got like 4 inches of rain if not more the past week it's been raining a lot we had like a big burning pit back at the field there and it was flooded. It looked like an in-ground swimming pool. done here got a couple more passes jump over and do some mowing okay what I said we're gonna do uh, corn over there right yeah what are we looking at our loans is there any of these can't even really pay any of these off because I am completely broke I forgot I didn't want to buy that um, what is it the Medeco storm I believe or the Medeco vertical tillage tool. I didn't want to buy it. I just wanted to lease it. I actually end up ended up buying it. So that kind of ate a bunch of our money. But I wonder how is our animals doing? Cause we can get a little bit of money off of those. We're not quite there yet. I mean, we could sell some of these guys off. We don't have to. Maybe we'll, we'll probably wait for reproduction on these ones. They're only 11 months, though. And we're getting a lot of slurry. We're almost back up to a million again. I'm trying to think. I don't know what the max price is for pigs. Maybe we'll just let these go if we can and see kind of what our max value is on them. But it depends. If I think we're probably going to have to sell some off before we go into next month because we're going to be negative, negative if we don't. But I'd like to wait for them to reproduce beforehand. Right? We'll see. Maybe if we sell off some corn, we won't have to sell off the pigs. That should hold us over for a little bit, but... What is our um, monthly fees here? We got ten. We got about twenty thousand coming out a month, so we'll see if we can make it through by just selling off our corn. We might be able to. I don't know. Hopefully, we'll have enough feed. For the pigs. I know we have enough feed for the cows. Hopefully we'll have enough pig feed to get us through the year and we won't have to buy any because a full pig barn worth of feed is like 210,000. It's kind of a little bit outrageous to feed the pigs. But whenever you sell them, you, you do make a pretty good profit off of them. So 
I don't think we're losing money. I want to do uh, more beans this year, so I'm thinking like I said, 26 beans, the other field there, beans, 19 beans, maybe 21 beans, that'll give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 corn fields, two of them are going to be chopped, so maybe we should, I'm trying to think, maybe we do 21 corn no, because we're going to do 18 corn, so if we do, we'll do 20, 18, 94, 95 with corn. Hey, Colby, how's it going, buddy? Hopefully you're doing well. Nice to see you. I really wish this planner would go a little bit quicker. I'm doing good. I'm glad to hear that you're good. It's always good to hear. I'm not doing too bad myself. Hopefully you guys can't hear the dogs barking in the background. And Willow's down there barking. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. As I turned down like the background audio for my mic, so it should only pick up the stuff that's really loud and close to it. So hopefully you guys can't hear that. I'd be curious. Let me know if you guys just heard barking in the background. Kind of curious if you guys can hear that or not. Swing her around and get lined up for another pass down the field here. Drop her down and get on plan. There goes the train. Still hauling grain. Must be a lot of grain around here to haul. It's like every 10 minutes the train goes by. I'd like it if it didn't go by as much because whenever you get stuck waiting for it to get past like on the road it takes like probably takes like a good minute and time is money so I'd rather not be sitting around waiting on a train to go by. Hey Austin's Farm how's it going? What's that combine you got there in your profile picture? I like being back here and looking over at the farm. It looks nice. I wish we had, I think we need to add in a couple more uh, silos for the silage bins. Or not silage bins, but silage um, harvest stores. That's what it's called, a harvest store. It'd be nice to have a couple more. kind of want to get some more cattle on here too. I like to run a decent sized cattle farm and a pretty big pig farm as well. I think like maybe 1,500 cattle and around 5,000 pigs. That'd keep us busy. I like always having a job to do. We'll see if we can't grow the farm up to that.
bearing to the end here. And lift her up. Get lined back up and head back down. Make another pass here. I need to get myself a new water bottle. Every time I take a drink out of this, it's like my water jug for work. Every time I take a drink out of it, a little bit of water comes out. I think you had enough. You had two barbecue sandwiches and fries. Mm, that sounds good. I wish you could bring me one. Wouldn't mind having one right now. I just ate dinner. I shouldn't be hungry, but I'm talking about some pulled pork sandwiches makes me a bit hungry. I'm so full, you want to sleep it off. I know that feeling. What do we got? We got about, you know, maybe, maybe four more passes here. Oh, what you got for dessert? Actually, don't even tell me because it's just going to make me even hungrier. I don't even want to know. Oh, you don't got nothing for dessert? I haven't had any dessert with my meal in quite a while. I could go for like a Dairy Queen Blizzard. Oh, we're missing a little bit. Let's go ahead and lift up and see if we can't get lined up here a little bit better. I want to get as many crops off this field as possible. There we go. See, I think we got like maybe a pass and then a little bit there and then down here it gets a little bit wider. So we might have four more passes and we'll knock this field out. I want sweet potato pie. I don't think I ever had that before. Don't think I ever had sweet potato pie. I don't think I ever even heard of sweet potato pie before, honestly. I'm trying to think if I have it or not, but yeah. I don't know. Have you ever had a shoe fly pie? Anybody know what shoe fly pie is? I don't know if that's something worldwide or if it's just in kind of, not really my local area, but around my area. Southern, so yeah, I didn't know if I don't think it's worldwide really. I think it's more around my area, near like the Lancaster area. My grandfather, he used to, he don't go as much anymore, but he used to go like every year 
twice a year and get shoe fly pie from up in Lancaster. Tell you what, it's really good. I'm not really sure what's all in it, but it's really good. Kobe's going all in. Oh no, Kobe, you lost. That's not good. Hey, Wolves, you want to add Kobe in some more points? Well, now Wolves is back to gambling. Hopefully, you lose, Wolves. Oh my goodness. I'd rather Kobe win than you. Taking all the sweet corn. Even though it says bacon, it's actually sweet corn. I forgot to change it. I ran out of the wrong time. Stop winning. There we go. Hey, Wubs, you want to add uh, Kobe in some points? Yeah, so we got one pass up and then another pass down and then probably a pass back up and we should have this foot knocked down and we can move on to the next one. Thank you, Rose. Hopefully, Streamlabs will do that. think you put an at but honestly I have no idea we got a little bit back there that we'll have to come up and clean up try it without the at There goes the train again. The train is too active on this map. Holy cow, we've already been streaming for an hour? It took an hour just to knock out this one field. Are you kidding me? At this rate, it's going to be a couple days. And yeah, no, that didn't work either. I don't know how to add points. I think that might be it. Hopefully. seem like that's working either.
is it add points? You gotta do points instead of add point. I'm not sure. I'd have to get on Streamlabs and look at it. Oh, it's add points. I don't know. You guys might have lost the audio there. I had to click off of the screen real quick. I wanted to jump over here to Streamlabs to see. We can't figure this out. No, I just want to log in. YouTube. Stumbles farm, continue. Well, why do I have to keep logging into this? It's kind of dumb. <laughs> I don't know, wolves. I don't know what's going on. Let's, um, Clout bot. I guess it's uh, modules, maybe? Or is it commands? Default commands. Points, ice. Add command, add quote. Don't say anything about adding points. You, oh, it's just add. It's not add points. It's just add. Or no. Yeah. Try just add instead of add points. Try to do exclamation point add and then the name and then the amount oh we're all over the place <clears throat> let's see what if we do exclamation point Add Kobe Gaming <laughs> We both did that at the same time Fa Unable to find Whoa, this bot's stupid I don't know if the bot's stupid or if we're just stupid. Oh my. I think we're very stupid wolves. <laughs> He's a very... I don't think it's us. I think it's the bot. Add points to a user add points now. Go ahead, shut this off and get her folded up and move it to the next field. 
to give it's exclamation point give name amount but even that wouldn't work so I think it's the bot I think the bot's broke I'm blaming it on the bot well that's folding up we might as well top it off with seed so that our worker doesn't run out well you got 10 points and that's just for being in here watching the stream you gain points for watching the stream so at least you have 10 hopefully you can win a couple gambles and have a little bit of points then because I have no idea how to add points apparently it's gonna work can I get the unfill? no no you don't want to unfill for me <clears throat> Seems like nothing wants to go right here. Okay, now it's filling that I'm the way up here. That's weird. Alright, we'll just sit this here along the side of the road. We'll get on the other side of the train while there's no train coming. We'll just park it right here. And then... Oh, now we're hitting the going side. Okay, guys, don't look. Look away. Okay, you can look now. That truck and seed tender looks good together. I know, I like that truck. Actually, my favorite truck here. Uh, let's see, do I have it in on this? I don't know if I have it. I think it's this one. This truck right here, sexy truck, especially once you do some upgrades to it, make it look pretty nice. Let's, I think I like, no, not that. What color was it? Not white. Where's the other gray at? Was it that gray? I don't know if it was that gray or not. I feel like I had a different gray. I had two of the same mods, and I got rid of one of them. And I think the one that I got rid of had the paint that I liked. Or maybe it was that paint, I forget. I can't remember. Okay, so that's going corn. And that's going to be corn. So both of them are going corn. So we're going to jump up here to fill it on the corner. Let's um, jump back over here to my YouTube tab. Okay. Oh, we are... A little crazy there. Let's get into the field and then we will shut the gate so that we can actually plant up to the edge here. That closed. Alright, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and save the game because sometimes it wants to, like, freeze on me. Unable to find Kobe Gaming. Let's see, um, we'll go to create a job. Course play, yep, that's the field we went right there. The bot is not happy tonight. We'll go two headlands. We'll go long edge and generate. Could not generate. Why? Or if we go manual. No. Automatic. Why does it do this? What if I um fill position? Put it right there. Create two. Clockwise, let's go. Longest edge. Can you generate it now? Now you can generate it. Make it make sense. It didn't make any sense. But anyway, we will swing around here. We will start at first waypoint. And I 
kind of want to wait and see how long this field's going to take. Let's see what it says in here. Bring ourselves back around. Probably about, I'd say, probably like 45 minutes is what it'll take. Those failed to give and bacon. Not sure what's going on with that. I wonder if while we wait for this to unload or unfold, what if I go in here and okay. Why is Colby not showing up in here? Not seeing you, Colby. Is this worker gonna go? What in the world just happened? He unfolded it and then folded it back up? Not in there. Why is there no Colby in here? I'm trying to come in manually and add in points, but what if we just sort by points? I'm seeing that. I don't know what's going on with the worker. How is it going to say that the tank... Oh. Don't fold. Hang on. I think I know what's wrong. I think I have it so that it puts down... Um, <clears throat> let's see. I think that it's... It thinks that it has... Um, thinks that it has fertilizer, but we're not putting on fertilizer. Why can't I find it? Maybe driver wages, automatic repair fund. Okay, so it's not in there. Of course, turn the starting point, follows it, and bridge marker. Okay, yeah, we'll deactivate that. There we go. Now, if we start it, let's see if, if it works. It because this planner, yeah, that's what it was. This planner has the option for liquid fertilizer, we just aren't running it. So that's what it was. Oh, there's Kobe. Okay, I found you, Kobe. Let's go in here, edit. And let's go. We'll give you. There, confirm. Okay, Kobe, now you should have points. I went in and manually did it. So. You should have points all right there we go now that we got all that sorted out Let's go ahead. We'll let this guy do his thing here. We'll have to come around and touch up the edges, but other than that, 
be good. He's getting awful close. I feel like he... We should probably watch him here. Nope, he seems to be doing all right. I got tired of being on my phone. I switched to my computer. All right. Yeah, I get tired of watching YouTube on my phone as well. I like to put it on my computer or my TV. Okay, we'll jump over here. Let's go get some haying done. Um, <clears throat> let me get out of there. Hey, Wolf, check your um points. We'll just go ahead and. Hey, there we go. I changed it to sweet corn. I should have removed a bunch of your points while I was in there. That would have been funny. Missing that little bit there. Let's see if we can't get this lined up here. You said gamble. Should have removed all your points and then you wouldn't know how to add them back in. That would have been funny. No, not so. <clears throat> I think what we're gonna do, we're just gonna cut right across the driveway here. Just to make life a little bit easier. Kobe, you should have points now. I went in and manually added you in like a hundred thousand or a million. I don't know how much I put in. Yeah, there you go. Now you got points. I wasn't counting how many times I hit zero. Just making sure you had enough so that we didn't have that problem anymore. You got 10 million, yeah, holy cow. You got too much. I'm not used to this mower because on the, my other playthrough I have the new Holland and it's up and down on the joystick to change it and this one is side to side. It takes some getting used to. Too bad they weren't all the same. Because the New Holland Haybine, it is up and down to move it left to right, and this one's left and right to move it left and right. I don't like how it's inverted. I want to turn it right. I want to push right on the joystick to make it go right, and I want to push left on the joystick to make it go left, but it doesn't work like that. They went, I used that. Yeah, I like using this mower. I like both of them. The New Holland's a little bit wider, but this one here, it's a little bit easier to turn with it because it has more of a swivel. There's a swivel back here on the three point, and the New Holland is just hooked right up to like the, the draw bar and don't really have too much swivel with it. They both have their pros and cons, but I kind of like using this one a little bit better because it's easier to turn with it. I just wish it was a little bit wider. planner guy he's almost made it around a full headland pass there
guess we'll just keep going like this. Might as well now. got four passes there so we'll just jump up here and not take off any more of the headwind Should be able to get that finished there. We'll swing back around here and get these couple passes knocked out. We'll be on to the next field. Hello, baby. What are you doing? Did you come to visit your daddy? run over here no cars are coming I'm gonna jump up here and do this field first wonder how our worker guy's doing hopefully he's still rolling oh, I think I see him up there yeah he's up in there at the top By the time I get used to the one mower, then I play on my other map, and I gotta get used to the other mower, and it's just never ending. I think what I'm gonna do is come all the way out here, see how far we can get, or something like that. If I had a smaller plow, I'd probably extend that field the whole way down to there, but with the plow that I got, I don't think it'd be quite that easy to get back in there. Like even up here, we could bring it out. Kind of swing around here a little bit. Something like that. For the time being, it's good how it is. Maybe one day we'll change it. Go. Cutting hay. I think we're still good on feed for the cows as far as hay goes. I don't think we're out of hay be something to check on though because I'm not really sure. Well, let's take a look. Let's see what do we have in the mixer. If we look oh yeah we are 
And we can actually start mixing some more. Go ahead and activate that. Silage is full. Plus, we still have a little bit of chaff. And <clears throat> hay, we still have, we have enough hay for now. Feed-wise, we got a decent amount. Yeah, so we're doing good on hay. 500 cows should be able to feed off of these four grass fields. Once we get some more, I'm not sure. We might have to get some more grass fields. But there is that little field over on the other side of the farm that we could pick up and turn that into hay. For the time being, as long as we can feed the cows with what we got, we're not going to worry about it. Swing around, sorry for the trees. Keep on rolling. I think we might just take this in a circle and make it a little bit easier. Oh, we're going in the ditch. Don't look, guys. We just put the mower in the ditch. I think if we just take this in a full circle, it might actually make it a little bit easier whenever it comes time to rake it and bale it. So I think that's what we might do and see what happens. Normally I'll go up and down rows. I'll take off my four headland passes and then go up and down, but I think this might be a little bit easier. Just keep on going around and around. Might get a little dizzy. But we should be alright. We might be able to get it all on our way back up. There might be a little bit down here that we might have to come back and clean up. For the most part, we should be able to knock it all out. Have one more, one more pass down there. Okay, we won't worry about that anymore. We'll just go right on back down this way. We'll see if this actually makes it easy or not. I don't know if it's going to or not. last little bit and we'll jump over to our next field there something like that I'll shut the mower off hopefully we can see I think I can yeah we can move the mower a little bit to help us get it out the fence there and then I think this here is our biggest one we'll come in here and knock out this Actually, I think we're going to go this way, so there we go. We'll take it off this way. I'm not sure if this field is going to be easier to do our up and down rows or if it would be easier to go all in a circle as well. I'm not sure. I think we're going to 
try and get a little extra off of this, so we're just gonna come out here a little bit and get kind of close to the tracks. Swing up around here and then come through here. Try and maximize our hay production <clears throat> just so that we're not running out at any point. across here and right back out to the field here kind of something like that I think we do own on the other side of the train tracks we could always cut that for hay as well I don't know if there's a gate over there on the other side of the railroad tracks or not. Something we can look at here. Let's see what we have over there. So I'm pretty sure I own that. Let's jump over here. Or is there not even a gate? Oh, this is really steep. Okay. If there was some way to get across the tracks here, we could mow this top area, but... This down here is super steep. I don't know if I want to try and mow this. We'll kind of hold off on all that. But I do own this ground, don't I? Let me take a look here. Where are we at? 49. Okay, no, we don't actually own that. So, where do we own? Do we own this? Yeah, this is probably about the end of our property line right up through here. So this little bit wouldn't even be worth trying to come over here to get. And now we're stuck by the train. How long is this? Okay, there we go. Jump back around here. Let's get back to mowing. I think what we'll do is probably thinking four headland passes. Yeah, I think we're gonna do four headland passes around this and then we'll go maybe up down rows. I guess we'll see once we get these four headland passes knocked off of it. We'll take four headland passes off of it, and then we'll go with our up-down rows. Get this knocked down, then we'll grab the rake, and hopefully our planter is still doing good over there. Hopefully course play didn't run out of seed. I don't know, I didn't see an alert, but I could have missed it. We should probably check on him before too long here, just to make sure he's still doing what he needs to be doing. Hopefully he didn't get caught up on anything. Oh, 
while I'm thinking about it, let's just uh, jump over here. It looks like he's starting his up-down rows. Yeah, it looks like he's doing pretty good. He got the headlands knocked out. Now he's jumping on that. And he did miss a little bit on the headlands, but we'll get that taken care of. He has plenty of seed left, so he should be able to knock out that whole field. And then we'll get him started over on 26 and this field. And then corn, corn, no. Corn, 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 corn. Corn, 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 corn. I guess we'll do 19 beans as well because that'll give us 18 corn, 20 corn, 94 corn, 95 corn, 105 corn. I probably should have did 105 and 107 with beans, but we'll do that. I'm trying to think, what should I do? Maybe we'll do 95 beans since we did get a corn in that last year. Yeah, and then we'll do 19 beans. We'll go beans on beans on that. Alright, let's get back to our mower here. 4450 quad. Oh, is it quad? Yet? It's power. Quad range, okay. I thought it said quad. I knew it wasn't quad track. It was a quad. What are you talking about? Quad? Is that a quad track? Anyway, don't mind me. Had a blonde moment there. I'm not even blonde. hard to do up down rows on this I'm trying I'm kind of thinking that we might just spiral it the whole way around and just go circle the whole way around the field because it's such an awkward shape to try and do up down rows on I mean we could do it that's how I normally cut it with up down rows but I think this time I'm just gonna go all spiral and see how it kind of turns out see if I like it better this way once it comes time to hang in or not It might work out better whenever we rake it and whatnot. We just go all around the edge like this. I guess we'll find out here in a couple minutes what's better. If you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure you guys hit that like button for me. It helps out the channel a ton and it don't cost you guys anything. And while you're down there, if you haven't yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss whenever I post. We got a lot of IRL content coming to the channel soon. We're going to be playing corn, hopefully here within the next couple of weeks. As well as some other summer projects that I want to work on and hopefully bring you guys along with me. Hopefully you guys will enjoy them. For any of you guys watching now and have seen any of my real life content, are you guys enjoying it? Do you like it? Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. What is... The map is Tahitian County. It's a PC only map four times. So it's a decent sized map and I love it. Probably one of the best maps out to date. I would say, in my personal opinion. Let me just try and cut this a little sharp there. There we go. Austin, is that a uh, is that your combine in that picture? Or is it just a picture of a combine? Good. Let's see if we can't cut her sharp here. 
back into our row. Nice. Swing her around here. We have the same mod on everything, but it's a pick off Google. Oh, okay, gotcha. So you're a IRL farmer, I'm guessing. Since you got a combine, obviously. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, where are you uh, loaded, located at? Are you in the U.S. or? Oh, you're in Australia. Nice. too much like IRL farming just this year I'm planting some sweet corn got a couple acres but I don't do I don't have like a big farm or anything like that just just a couple acres however though back in back in the probably like yeah about the 70s my great-grandfather he was a farmer so we still have a bunch of the old equipment and whatnot, but we only have about seven acres now. And we don't really farm it, but starting this year, I'm going to be planting some sweet corn. So if it all goes well, hopefully I can get the family back into farming and grow the farm. Yeah, back in the 70s, that's all my great-grandfather grew was corn. They didn't grow any beans or anything, just corn. And I think, I think they did barley. Or they, maybe they, I don't know if they did, I don't think they did barley. I think they just did corn, actually, yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, what crops do you guys grow over there? not hit or shed back here we'll throw this back in the shop here grab a rake I'm sorry about that camera angle let's see if I can't zoom in here a little bit so that the Canola, chickpeas, beans, etc. Nice, nice. Yeah, around my area, mostly, most of the farmers around here, they just grow corn, soybeans, and some alfalfa, clover, hay, and then some barley and some wheat. But mainly, what you see normally is a lot of corn and soybeans. You guys have any livestock on your farm or just a crop farmer? Gonna download the map, nice. Yeah, I enjoy this map. This is a really nice map. It's based off of an Iowa location. I'm not sure exactly where at in Iowa. Oh, nice. You got cows, sheep, and chickens. Yeah, back in the 80s through about 95, we had about we ran about 60 head of cows. We got out of that around 95. A 
one of the farmers that's just right back the road from me, he has, I think it's 112,000 chickens. And then at their other location, his son, he has 92,000 chickens. So they got a lot of chickens. Right around about 200,000 chickens at max capacity. Hmm. Uh, I think it you might have to go on the itch dot com itch dot com and it's a map by uh, let's see I think it says in here it is by dr modding if you look him up yeah it's safe that's where I get pretty much all my mods from but if you just look up dr modding to he in iowa you should be able to find it this is how you spell it t-a-h-e-t-o-n it's to heaton county but it's an iowa based map and it's dr modding that made it and pretty much all of the mods that you see me use are from itch.com and different modders on there. I think just about every, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, just about every uh, mod that I have on this playthrough series is from that website. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys join the Discord. And keep in touch, figure out when the next time I'm streaming is, all that good stuff. Hang out in there, chat a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and run over here to our other fields. I link it um yeah I can do that real quick just so that you guys aren't looking at tractor sitting still let me go ahead we'll jump over here let me see if I can't pull up the um map here for you guys in case anybody else is interested in it as well um let's see he in Iowa Go ahead and copy that. Should be able to paste that right in here. There we go. So if anybody else is interested in this map, the link is in chat now. That'll take you to the a link to download. And you can donate to them if you don't want to. All you have to do is hit no thanks and it'll take you to the download link. Okay, now my phone fell on the floor. Let me set that back up on my desk here. All right, back to doing hay. jump up here to our farthest field away and knock that out and then we'll get the one that we just mowed there. See nothing because of these trees.
Have it downloading? Alright. Well, hopefully you enjoy it as much as I do. Currently, it's one of my favorite maps to play on. Yeah, I used to do that in the past. I wouldn't mind doing that again. About a year ago, whenever I was consistently streaming, I used to stream every night, but then kind of took a break from it. Uh, we used to do them pretty much once a week. I'd have the play or a live stream where subs joined in and hung out and played. See if we can get this here cleaned up a little bit better here. Is that something you guys would be interested in me doing again? Where we get some subscribers on here and play for a little bit. Show you the map. Do you want to see like the PDF of the map or do you want like a little bit of a fly around? It's a pretty big map as you can see. Right now we're just working in this little area down here is what we own. So there's that. We got some pretty decent sized fields up towards the top of the map. Like up in here we got there's a big starting farm up here. We got the dealership right there. We got an ethanol plant. We got the animal buy point up there. And then down here are some sell points and whatnot. And then some medium sized fields down in this area. Some of these here are larger. I did not start as a new farmer. New farmer, the uh, farm is up here by field 144. I started from scratch and built my farm in field 98 here. Just since it's kind of close to the town because like the main town's right down here. So I kind of started down there but the by the dealers all the way up here uh, I started with zero dollars but I did add in money to um, build my farm and buy some starting equipment but I didn't go too crazy but yeah there's kind of a, a look at the map there I mean I kind of did start with zero dollars cuz if we take a look here we are currently four five six seven eight started i took out a pretty much a million dollar loan so that's pretty much what i started with about a million dollars and we're still paying that back we still have two three about five hundred thousand ish to pay back we started with about nine hundred and forty thousand nine fifty somewhere in that area just under a million dollars is what i started with Okay, oh, we missed the field. At least I didn't put it away. Remember the one time, last time I mowed, I bailed everything, and then I forgot all about raking that to bail it. So let's swing in here and get this taken care of. Yeah, we kind of built this farm on a little bit of a budget. I think I placed all the buildings and then set my money to zero and then took out about a million dollar loan to buy all my equipment, livestock, and whatnot. You're going to try and do the same? Yeah, see, I don't like starting out with a bunch of money because then I feel like it kind of gets boring. I like the grind to try and build up the farm and 
like pay off some debt and whatnot. Feels more realistic that way as well. I like to try and play somewhat realistic. Although what I'm doing right now is far from realistic. You know, start. Yeah, that's about probably what I started with all together. But like I said, I didn't buy my like shops and silos and animal pens and all that. The silos. I didn't buy any of that with the money. I just cheated in some money, built the farm how I wanted it, and then took out all the money and started from zero and had to take out a loan to get equipment and whatnot. And some of the equipment that I do have is on a lease. So we are still paying on some of the equipment. Can't believe this live stream's already been going on for two hours and we haven't even got two fields planted yet. We might have to really look into getting a new uh, planting setup. Might need something a little bit wider and with a little bit of a higher speed because right now planting at six mile per hour ain't really cutting it. Do I like streaming? Yeah, I enjoy it. I like catching up with you guys and hanging out. Do you uh, post content on your channel or are you just a viewer? It didn't work. I didn't know if you posted uh, content on your real life farming operation or whatnot. But I'd say give it a try if it's something you're interested in. I enjoy watching real life farming videos. Okay, that's not the best uh, raking job that I've ever done, but it'll work for what we're going to be doing. Go ahead and I don't know if I want to run the baler on the 40. What is it? What is it? 4450. I don't know if I want to run the baler on this or if I'll put it on the other tractor. Depends on what we got going on up here. I don't even know where the baler is. I think the baler is behind the lime spreader. Go mm. throw it on the 78. I think I'm going to do a map on... Oh yeah, Griffin, Indiana. That's a pretty good map. I've played on that map before. Yeah, I think we're going to just throw the baler on this guy. Seems like all of our other tractors are hooked up to something already. What um, platform do you play on? Are you on PC or are you on console? I feel like normally I run it on the 4955, but I think... You're on PC, Tahina. Should work. That's weird that it didn't work. It didn't let you download it?
we'll just start here and work our way down to the other fields. Well, it looks like our planner might be done or almost done. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, the planner's done. I didn't even see the notification that he got done. Alright, perfect. Um, let's go ahead and get him unfolded and clean some of this up. We'll go ahead and clear this course. So we'll have to touch up all the corners and then we'll get him going on this field right across the lane here. Get that planted with beans. Oh, come on, planner. Oh, come on, it's unfolded. There we go. Let's get this a little bit on the edges that he missed knocked out. And head down here to the other corners and get them knocked out as well. Course play sometimes it does a good job on the corners and sometimes it doesn't. Unfortunately, this time it didn't do such a great job. And we got a little bit down here. Honestly, not too worried about that on the outside there. It seems like he got that pretty good. He just missed this a little bit right here. I've never heard of Moss Valley before, I don't think. I'm not sure what map that is. Get this a little bit here. I wonder why he missed that a little bit. Apparently, this play does pretty good with the up down rows. Based on a real place. Hmm. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, I have to remember the name Moss Valley. I'll have to give that a look. Is it um, an American based map or somewhere else? I missed a little bit up here. It's a console and PC map. Okay. <laughs> what if up on your house? I don't know what happened to the house wolves. Let's swing her around, get this a little bit. Okay. It's in Shelford. Shelford. I don't know where that is. I don't know where that's located. No, I have no idea where that is. <clears throat> what uh, country is that in? Uh, we'll create a job. Let's um go ahead and save first, because sometimes it wants to do some weird things. It's in England, okay. Set that there, we will create a course, we'll go with the same settings. See, I'd rather go the opposite way, but if they say this is our longest edges, then I believe it. <clears throat> so 
Um, should we refill this? Yeah, I'll check it out after my uh, stream here and see. I might be looking for a new map to play on. Not to stream on, we're going to keep streaming on this map. But in some of my spare time that I don't really have a lot of, I'd like to have a map just to mess around on here or there. Let's run this up and get it refilled so halfway through the field he's not running out. Uh, no, I play on controller. I have an Xbox controller that I use. I wouldn't mind having a steering wheel though, it'd be nice. You decided to just get off. <clears throat> I'm going fishing again tomorrow. Oh, did that gate not open? Let's see if we can do that. Let's, there we go. Now it's open. Hopefully, you catch something. Did you go fishing today? Okay, one sec. All right, we'll be here for quite a while. Still, got a lot, a lot more planning to get done. <laughs> and uh, we're today. I'm going fishing tomorrow because I'm off tomorrow. Oh, okay, nice. Well, best of luck. Hopefully, you catch something. We'll start him off there, and probably. Pull the truck forward just a little bit. He should be. Yeah, he shouldn't interfere with this truck, but it is a farm sim AI, so you never know what might happen. We'll get back to bailing up some hay. Wolves, if we did a, a multiplayer stream, would you be interested in joining in with us? But you don't have PC, do you? So you wouldn't be able to play on a PC map. It would have to be a cross-platform map. Okay, I'll keep that in mind if we do decide to do one of those. Still not 100% sure yet, but there's a good possibility. I need to get the bail counter to see how many bales we're making. But I guess we'll find out once we pick them up, so. I guess it's not too big of a need. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that on cruise control and see if I can't get a drink of water here. hands are almost not big enough to be able to grab it one-handed to take a drink maybe I can't I don't know, I need Xbox game pads I don't know how to... all right well I don't know exactly when that's gonna be it might not be for a while until we do one so you'll have time if you do choose to get the game pass and whatnot 
thing over here. Look at this little bit. Yeah, before we do a multiplayer stream, you probably will have a new computer by then. Maybe, depending on when I do it. I don't know for sure. I'd like to do it on this map. Like, create a new game save and do a multiplayer on this map. So if you could get a PC, that would be awesome if you could join in as well. Like, try and get as many people in here as what we can. Welcome back, Austin. Right, my last one, I'll find one. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Hopefully that don't happen to mine. Because I always have mine plugged into a wall. tell you if it's a good map all right yeah let me know what you think mm -hmm. that's fine by me wolves also what is in my get to change money ah uh, what do you mean by that Ooh, sorry car, but we are farming. Not sure what you mean by that, Austin. You mean to like add in money and whatnot? Um, it is easy dev. I think it's easy development is that I think that's what it's called. I'm sure if you look up look up on Google easy development uh, mod FS22 it'll pop up that we're farming load on apply those tractors nope get out the way maps amazing awesome that's the um, moss valley that you were talking about talking about that map Yeah, I'm gonna have to give that a look at. We'll see. See what I think about it. Yeah, if you're looking for um, this mod here where you can kind of add stuff in and whatnot, you can add in your money, you got flight mode, you can delete stuff. All this good stuff. This is like easy development commands or something like that. But if you just look up easy dev on Google, it should come up. It's a pretty popular mod, I believe. Alright, good. We're almost at 100 views on the stream. Nice. It's weird whenever you stream every day for so long and you're used to having like 20, 30 people watching the stream and then you quit streaming for a year and then nobody watches anymore and you gotta build it back up.
let's clean up this little bit over here and get this little bit of grass that we didn't even turn into hay. Get that picked up. All right, wolves, we'll be here. If we play until we get all this planted, it will probably be a long time. So I think, I think we're gonna do, let's see, where are we at? So we're gonna do, kinda wanna jump back over here and do this field in beans as well and then these two fields in beans so we're looking at probably another three four hours of playing beans that's gonna take forever may have to sell off some pigs to buy another planter to go help this guy out taking a lot longer than i thought i didn't think it would take that long to get all these fields planted but i guess i was wrong Yep, that's what I'm using right now for this guy here. He is running on course play. I'm knocking out the headlands right now and then gonna roll on the up down passes. Okay, that field is done. Run over here and get this one. <clears throat> There's a uh, lot of tutorial videos out on how to use course play. It's not really that hard. Whenever I first started using it, I was a little confused, but I watched a couple videos on how to use it, and it's pretty simple now. Once you get the hang of it, it's very easy to use. I have uh, course play and auto drive set up on this map. I don't really use the auto drive too much. Sometimes I do, but on this map I'm not using it too much, but other maps I use it a lot on. I think whenever it comes time to uh, chop corn this year, we'll have course play run the chopper and then auto drive run the um, silage wagons and take them and unload them for us. Or at least one of them will be on a worker doing it. We'll see what happens. Since our one, since, well, really both of our fields are really close to our harvest store, so we might not have to. But we'll see. Back had to take. Why is he doing the antidepressant medicine? Makes me drowsy. Oh, he might be falling asleep on us soon then. I mean, is it about 9.20? Uh, I still can... I could probably go for another about hour or so before I need to get off and get ready for bed. So I don't know if we'll get all the beans planted tonight. It might... It might take a little bit longer. I think it's going to take probably all of this stream, clearly, and then probably half the next stream will be soybeans, and then half the next stream will be corn, and then the next stream will be probably the rest of corn. Well, that's going. I'm not sure what we will do. Maybe we'll look into getting another um, planner to speed things up. I don't know if my um, credit will allow me to take out any more of a loan. So you take loan. Oh my. We still can get another 1.5 million out. Is that right? That's one. Yeah, we can get another 1.5 million out. We must have pretty good credit. So maybe we'll take out a little bit bigger of a loan and pick up another four wheel drive tractor. Articulated, nice big tractor. And another planner. And I guess we need another uh, planning tractor as well, if we got another planner. 
That could be expensive. Maybe we'll take out just a little bit of the loan and lease a bunch of equipment. See what happens. But we're going to have to do something because it's taking way too long to get these fields planted. And I want to pick up more ground probably the end of the season here so definitely gonna have to get some bigger equipment Oh, way to go, Wolves. You lost. I just now noticed the chat. Oh, did we just miss... Oh, no, we didn't miss that. That's part of this row. He said, yes, I know I lost. Well, hopefully you keep losing. I don't want you to take all my sweet corn. Hey, way to go, Wolves. You're on a roll. Keep it up. You're doing great. Bob's trying to tell you not to gamble, Wolves. Try to tell you you gotta cool down. You're not having luck like you were earlier. Let's go ahead and get these unloaded. Just take him back up to the farm. Yes, it has. Last stream, I don't think you lost, but a handful of times in this stream, you lost pretty much every time. Maybe next stream, you'll be better at it. You'll get more lucky. Okay, so that I don't have to detach the baler just to hook it back up and put it away. We're going to grab this 49.55 to pick up the bales with. start from the farthest away field and then oh, I don't like how that hooks up why does that hook up all the way up there why can't we get it to yeah, that's better I did not like how it was hooked all the way up there I didn't notice that before whenever we used this tractor so I figured something was off And 
do a little bit of cheating here. A little bit of cheating on Tahiti. Seven measly bales off of that food. Not too bad, I guess, off of the size of it. Got a good bit off of this food, though. I think we might have to make another trip down here for... I don't think it's all going to fit in one trip. Hmm, we missed that one. Swing back around and grab it. Okay. We might have enough room. I think we'll have just enough room. Yep. But at least I won't have to make another trip out here just to pick up a couple bales. Hopefully no cars are coming. We got a good bit off of this foot as well. I guess technically it's both of these together because of the way we bailed it, but four, five, six, seven, eight, eight bales off of that. It's not too bad. For the time being, do I want to put these? Hmm. I guess we will put them in here. Let's go grab the um, skid steer in here, and we have the hitch hooked up to it, so we'll go uh, drop this off and grab our bale mover. I was using this to stack some of the equipment away off stream. Bales put into the feed mixer. Wonder how that uh, feed mixer is doing. Just check that real quick. Um, yeah, so it's almost full on TMR. I think it's going to need a couple more bales though to get it full. Actually, no, I don't think it will. I think we have plenty of bales in there. <clears throat> but we can put more in it so we might as well. Instead of putting them in the shed and then having to bring them over here later on. Might as well just do it all now. plenty of silage in there. We might have to add some out of that ag bag. But for now, we should have enough. Because there's still some chaff in there that's fermenting in the silage. I don't think we're going to be able to fill this up with what we got left in the field. We'll 
see. Almost full. It's getting there. But I don't think we have enough hay left out there to fill it up. Now we got eight bells out here. Yeah, I don't think eight bells is going to do it. to get these fields limed and fertilized then. I think we have some fertilizer. We shouldn't have to buy any. I hope we don't have to buy any because our uh, cash is getting low. No, we didn't have eight. We had six bales left. I thought we had eight bales. Oh no, it was eight bales because I picked up two and that was eight bales total off of this field. So yeah, we only have six left. That makes sense. Actually, bring it in this way. Get these thrown in there, then we get this trailer put away, get some lime down, and some fertilizer down. Oh, um, we probably should uh, unload them first and then grab them. bales in the shed. The shed is really just for decoration because we never have any bales in it. We never have enough bales to put any in there. Throw that there. Let's get this wagon put away. Grab the lime spreader. Yeah, we should have enough lime to get these four fields knocked out. Shouldn't have to worry about buying any. We'll get this baler thrown back in there as well. Where's that? You made cookies? Oh. My sister made cookies. Not too bad. It's still warm. Mm -hmm. I haven't had cookies since like Christmas. Okay, we're back a little too far. Let's drop off the baler there, get this put back into the main shop. And then we can go do a little bit of lining. Yeah, that's a pretty good cookie. It's still warm. Hmm, Moonlight joined the server. Well, thank you, Moonlight, if you're watching the stream for joining. Yeah, 
I don't think it's going to let me spread any right here. This is the way precision farming works. I think we might start doing this job every other cutting or once a year. And just fertilize it. Because I don't use too much lime. I don't think we'll have that big of a yield difference if we don't lime it. But it is another job that just keeps us busy. So I don't mind doing it. It's not a terrible job. It don't take long. Got a pretty wide spread on it, so not too bad of a job to do. Hopefully our uh, worker up there, he's still doing good, I hope. We'll check on him once we get this uh, field here knocked out. Hopefully he is still planting and he's not just sitting up there. switch this to uh, tons 0 0.02 tons an acre so that's pretty much nothing that we're putting on it so I don't even know if it's worth uh, taking the time to lime this after every cut I think we might just start doing it once a year I think that'll be fine I'm sure it's not going to hurt our yield too much and we're only uh, 2 likes away from 10 likes can we get up there to 10 likes if you guys haven't hit that like button and you're enjoying the stream, make sure you smash it for me. And yeah, our planner guy, he is still rolling out here. So I'm definitely thinking about maybe picking up a, another planner. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know um, what all mods I have in here. In this uh, game save. So we might not be able to do it until next stream. Unless we back out and come back in, but I don't really like doing that during stream. But I kind of think that I want to get a 24 row planner. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe an 8R or, I don't know, we'll see. I feel like I use the 8R a lot, maybe we'll get something else other than the 8R to put on the new planner. But we'll probably keep that planner for at least this season. Maybe another season. I don't don't know. I don't really want to have to buy two brand new planners because that will get a little expensive. And then that 8110, it'll pretty much not have a purpose on the farm anymore because I don't think it will have the power to pull a 24 row planner. Actually, it's not an 8110, it's an 8410, but I don't think it's going to have the power to pull a new planner. I don't think the 8110, or 8410 will pull a 24 row planner. Okay, let's run this back up to the shed. And grab the sprayer. It takes longer to unfold the sprayer than it does to actually spray the fields, which is kind of funny. It didn't have collisions on it. I'll just keep it unfolded and drive across the street. But fortunately, it has collisions, so I can't do that. Go ahead and 
throw this guy back in the shed. Ooh. Get straightened out here a little bit. Um, let's see, I want to put this in front of the baler where it was before. So I want to pull that slurry spreader out so I can put the planter behind of it once we get done planting. Another plan for that. If we get two planters, I'm going to be a tight squeeze in here. So I'm going to drop that off and then I'm going to hook up to the slurry spreader. Because I will have to pull that out to put the planters back in at the back of the shed here. There's a... We got it squatting a little bit because we do have 32 tons of manure. What's that in gallons? We got about 8,500 gallons of manure in there, so. Yeah, um. Let's see, he's still going. The only reason why I would think about maybe trading this planter in for a 24 row is because it only goes 6 miles per hour. It has a 6 mile per hour working speed, so. I don't know. Let's see what for planters we have in here. Um, planters are down here. No, right there. Um, see, that's what we're running now. It only goes six miles per hour. And then we have that. That runs at seven. It's a 16 row as well. Don't have to be a John Deere. What is this? This is a DB. DB60. This thing here is so expensive though. So we'll probably not get a DB60. I don't really want to run something that new. Kind of going for a 2000s era of a farm here. So that's too new. They're too new. So I'm probably not going to run them just yet. Hmm, unless we just get another one of these, I guess. But, like I said, I don't really want to plant at only 6 miles per hour. <laughs> Maybe what we'll have to do is just add in a uh, different mod. It don't have to be John Deere. We could always go for, like, a case planter or... A Kenzie planner. See what we can find out there that's a little bit old school, like 2000s ish. As far as uh, cedars, because we could plant beans with a cedar. We do have that guy, but mm -hmm. the 40 foot cased. Yeah, I think we are um, just going to hold off on getting a planter. This here is a cool little cedar, but it's a little bit too small for what we're trying to do. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to be getting a new planter this episode, or this stream I should say. I guess I will go ahead and take over for this guy so that we're not paying him to do something. Oh, actually, no. We still have to spray. How long does he have left? He has about 30 minutes left. So, we'll go spray, and then whatever he has left to do, we'll uh, clean up. And then, probably call it a stream for tonight. We have 200 gallons of spray in here, so we have plenty of fertilizer for these grass fields. this unfold in a while since it takes forever to unfold my sprayer. I don't want my sprayer arms to be like that, is it? There we go. That's much better. Forgot what the control was to uh, get them to go 
some like level there. Yeah, we'll have uh, plenty of spray to knock out this. Get about 20 gallons. Well, actually, if we're going to put on about 20 gallons an acre, that have about 7 acres here, so we'll have about just enough to get this knocked out. I'll have to wait for this to fold in a little bit or else we'll clip it on the trees there. to the fence. I always like spraying hay fields because hay fields are always a bit smaller than other fields so you can really get in there and knock them out pretty quick. Okay, due to this telephone pole up here, we're not going to be able to squeeze out. So again, we're going to have to fold this guy back up. Like I say, it takes longer to fold and unfold the sprayer than what it actually does take to uh, spray the fields. Squeeze out of there. And might as well go ahead and close the gate because we're done in there for the time being. And we'll jump over here and get this other field sprayed, and then we'll go up and take over for the planter and then get that field knocked out. Get the rest of those beans planted. And by the time we get done with this and get this put away, he should only have. Probably the long rows left that we need done. And we'll just uh, start spraying while it's still unfolding. Let's see. Yeah, this should only take probably some spots will take three passes, and then down here is only going to take about two. This way, like that, there we go, and then we'll get this top corner up here that we missed, and we'll get right there if they'll let us spray it, yep. Alright, let's um, get this put away and then run up there and take over for our worker. He, yep, he's just now starting on these longer passes. So what does it say we got about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. About 12 passes to make, so that shouldn't take too long. We'll let this car go by. We'll get this gate closed as well. And there goes the train again. I wonder how much fuel that train burns. It goes around the map so many times. Seems like every 10 minutes you see the train go by. Thinking about fuel, we're doing good on fuel. Hopefully our planter, planning tractor still got good fuel in it. Because it has been running now for just under three hours, so it might be getting a little bit, a little bit low on fuel. Might want to take a look at that. What does it take? It's 
is about about 76 gallons of fertilizer to spray all four of them filled, so that's not too bad. See. Oh yeah, we still got about half a tank, so we're going to go ahead and fire him. And we will also go ahead and clear out his course here. Because we don't need him anymore. We got our bailing all taken care of. So we'll get this here lined up with what he was doing. And we will click on our GPS course so that we can stay uh, somewhat straight here. And we will keep planning. But yeah, this planner only going 6 miles per hour. I don't know. I think what I might do, I might edit the mod to allow it to go about maybe, I don't know, <clears throat> 9 miles per hour maybe. I think that's more reasonable than 6. Just to help speed this up, because I don't really want to go for a newer model planner. I want to try and stick with some older equipment for a little bit, and then eventually we will jump into a um, newer model planner. But for now, I want to try and stick with about 2000s equipment, somewhere around in there. Let's see, what is, uh, what is the name of this planner so I know what we need to do? It is the John Deere 1770NT, and we need to up speed. Yeah, we're going to up the speed on this guy, because 6 miles per hour is just a little bit too slow for me. Turn on my light on the nightstand. It's getting a little dark in here. Let me see what I wrote. I wrote that in the dark and it doesn't look very well. It's not very eligible. 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 Right? Yeah. While we're here, we might as well just swing around here and clean up this little bit that he missed. That corner bit there I'm not really too worried about because it is a pain to try and get in there and plant it. So whenever it comes time to harvest that'll just make life a little bit simpler. Let's not have to get the whole way back in that corner. But most of the other corners, pretty much all the other corners, will touch up a little bit because I'm sure he missed some. See, if we take a look here, say we'll go corn, 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 and then corn, or beans. I'm debating on which field to put corn and beans in. Either 95 will be corn, or 105 through 107 will be corn, and then these two are going to be beans as well. So let me just write this down. We got corn in 2018-94, and then beans, we got 2196 26 B. I'm gonna call that field right over here. We're gonna call this field 26 B. So yeah, um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we do corn in 95 or 105 through 107 up here? Last year this was corn and this was beans. So I'm thinking about swapping them. I think that's what we'll probably do. So we'll put beans in 95. We'll say. Say 95 beans and 105 corn. 
I guess we could do both those fields up there, beans as well, but hmm, I'm not sure. Because I want to have enough corn, because two of those fields are going to get chopped for silage. And then the other two fields are going to be for pig feed. I don't want to have not enough pig feed. And I'm, uh, yeah, I think we'll stick with what I said. We'll do one of those corn, one of those beans. That should work out pretty good for us. And that most of these fields are getting a crop rotation. Some of them are going to be beans on beans and corn on corn. For example, 19 it had beans in it. 20 had corn and 94 had corn. And 95 had beans. So that was beans. This was bean. No, this was corn. This was corn, yeah. So... We got corn, beans are going back in, and then we'll have, a, we had corn, now we got beans, we had corn, and now we'll have beans, corn on corn, corn on corn, and then this is going to be beans on corn, and then this is going to be beans on beans, and beans on corn, and then we'll have beans on corn, and I forget if this was beans or corn, I think this was beans, hey, Alrighty, I stream on PC, just hit 153 subs, wow, way to go, we're on a 32x map, wow, that's pretty big, right now we're playing on a 4x map, so a 32 is pretty big. Nice. Go ahead and swing around here. And we will continue on. We only got a couple more passes left here. And then I think we'll uh, call it a stream. We're looking at about three hours. And we still haven't got all of our beans planted yet. Still have, what, one, two, three, three more fields to go to plant beans. So we'll knock them out next stream. I mean, we only got three fields planted. It's taken about an hour of field. A lot longer than what I was kind of expecting. I thought that we would probably be able to knock out all these fields in one stream. Nice. Sounds like it's a pretty big farm then. If you're running all that big equipment. You probably cover a lot of acres with that equipment that you're running. You got an Elm Creek server. I used to have a server on Elm Creek, but <clears throat> that didn't last too long. Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't know that they were. I don't really keep up too much on mods. Whenever I see that it has been added, I download it. I don't know what's coming and when it's coming. I don't pay too much attention to that. Luckily, we aren't running through too many seeds, which is nice. Planter don't seem to use too many seeds. About three and a half bushels to the acre. And we've done covered just under 60 acres. about 
Closing her on 60 acres now, and we've only refilled. This is be our third fill up, and we still got 30 percent. Oh, we don't really farm. I just planted some sweet corn this year. Used to farm back in the 70s through 90s. Even a little custom work back in like the 50s, my great grandfather did, but mainly just. Um, Well, my grandfather, he retired farming in 90s, so I haven't really farmed since then, but I'm just going to grow a little bit of sweet corn. Our crops is wheat, barley, canola, lentils, peas, nice. I uh, didn't have any bins, just an old corn crib. Really, <clears throat> only own seven acres, but they rented a bunch of ground back in the day. I think they farmed well over, like, I think it's about 300 acres is what they farmed back from, like, the 70s to the 90s. Uh, I'm in Pennsylvania. So, it wasn't huge, and then ran 60 cows as well. So most of the corn was chopped into silage and had a little bit of hay acres. The yeah, only crops my grandfather farmed was corn, <laughs> like most of it was chopped for silage and then had an old corn picker yeah my discord is linked above Four passes left. Maybe five. I want another one of them cookies that my sister made. Gotta get this field plan so I can go grab one. They're pretty good. I feel like we're going so slow. This planner really needs a speed upgrade. I think what we'll do, we'll just bump up the speed on this planner and then we'll uh, go ahead and purchase another one of them and maybe even, I don't know, maybe the 7810 that I got will pull it. Let's see, what's the 70, what do we got on horsepower, 170, 175, and I think the planner takes like 170, so it'd be pushing it, but I think the 7810 could pull it. If not, we'd always look into getting like a 7430 or something. I don't know if I have any of those in my game right now. Um, 7810, 7000 series, 8410. We got an 8020 and an 8030. I'd like to get a 70, like a 7430 or something like that to pull it. I think that would be a nice tractor for planning. I have to look and see what's on the mod hubs out there, see what we can find. The 
So whenever we're about done planting, I think we'll have, like, we're looking at, we're going to hit about 70 acres here. Maybe about 90. We're going to probably have about, like, probably 65% of our ground is going to be in beans. So, like, yeah, I think about 60% of our land that we own is going to be into beans. Hey, Galvin, welcome back in, buddy. Oh, not too bad. Still planting beans. We only got three fields done. This planter is so slow. It only wants to run six miles per hour. We're going to go uh, look into the XML file and see if we can't bump up the working speed after the stream here so that next time it don't take so long. We're going to bump it up to about nine, ten miles per hour. So it'll go almost twice as fast. Maybe even 11. We'll see. Thinking about using the rail speed limit mod just to speed this process up a little bit. I think we'll do that. That's better. Now we're rolling. I don't know. Realistically, we're probably only planting the seed every couple hundred feet. Ah, uh, this here is the 8410. We got a little bit of an upgrade over the 8110. You're disking. What size disc were you running? Yeah, we're rolling now. 33 foot. I guess that's not bad running a 33 foot on 8110 going 6 miles per hour. It seems fairly realistic, I think. to go around the edge of the field and check for any spots that the course play worker missed because I'm sure there's going to be some. Seems to always be a spot or two. So I know I missed a spot right up here. Your favorite semi truck? Um, yeah, I like the Pete's. I'm probably gonna have to say uh, International, um, just because we have two International S 1900s in real life. Uh, we got an 83 and an 84. I don't know if I have it in on this gameplay. Nope, I don't think I do. It's the International S1900. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I don't have to show you then. Yeah, we have two of them in real life with uh, spreader beds on them. Use them to spread lime and fertilizer custom. Custom spreading. You got two Peterbilts? Nice. Yeah, no, they're nice trucks. I like them as well. My grandfather, he has a Peterbilt with a... Um, tanker bed on the back for hauling oil, delivering oil and stuff. They're nice trucks. I like them as well. I also like Mack trucks as well. I like I like Mack trucks too. Okay, so we'll get this guy Fold it up. Oh, nope. Hold up. We're not going to fold it up yet. I'm going to get a little bit more of this here. 
touched up. What year Peterbilt do you guys got? Is it a newer one or like an older one? Hunt that little bit there. School was long today. Kids around here, they got out early. I think they were out around like lunchtime. Kind of newer. Yeah. The newer ones, they look nice. I like the older ones too. Yeah, I'm more of a. I like old school equipment. I think old school looks pretty nice. But this Mack truck here. It's pretty. Hmm. So yeah, let's just check the animals again real quick. I think, yeah, they're doing good. And they are still good. Geez, so they're going to take 1.8 million of fee. I believe so. I'm pretty sure that's probably why they got out early. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to wrap up this stream because it's been going on a little bit longer than what I kind of planned for. I didn't expect it to take three hours to plant three fields. That's kind of kind of crazy, but they are decent-sized fields, to be fair, and we were only moving at six miles per hour for most of them, so I guess that's fair. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for coming and watching. I will hopefully see you guys again at some point this week. Try and get as many streams out as what I possibly can to get this gameplay moving forward, making some progress on the map. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys will you stream tomorrow or when I it depends on what I got going on tomorrow. So I'm not really sure. It's kind of going to determine, like depending on what I have to do tomorrow, will determine whether or not I will stream or not. So definitely will be another stream this week. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow. We'll shoot for tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. I will be here when. All right. Well, I appreciate it. And if you guys haven't yet, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content that comes out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.